The Zelda movie is real, and it's gonna be a live action one. This was confirmed to us moments ago on Nintendo's official Twitter account, as they had Miyamoto stop by saying that he's been working on a live action film of The Legend of Zelda for many years now, with Avi Arad, who has produced many mega hit films. Now excuse me if I'm mispronouncing his name, but I looked him up and apparently he's behind films like Venom, The Amazing Spider-Man, and the original Spider-Man, along with Spider-Man Beyond beyond the Spider-Verse and even Morbius. So it's kind of a mixed bag, but nonetheless, it's so exciting that a Zelda movie is in production. We already assumed this would happen after the Mario movie, but I honestly thought it would be another animated movie like the Mario movie with Illumination, not a live action one. And it is worrying that it is a live action one. I mean, if there was a Nintendo IP to receive a live action adaptation, Zelda would definitely be one of them, but uh, yeah, still, it's worrying. And the fact that Avi Arad has worked on so many Spider-Man movies, uh, even before I checked that, the first person that came to mind when I thought, ooh, who could play Link? Uh, was Tom Holland because you know he's kind of the A-list young celebrity actor who you know fits all the big movie roles and yeah I really hope that isn't the case I mean he's already Spider-Man they had him as Nathan Drake which in my eyes didn't fit he, he does a good job as Spider-Man though but yeah it's worrying because I personally wouldn't want an A-list celebrity playing as Link. You know, Link is a character that we all see ourselves in, and I feel like if you get someone so well-known, it wouldn't work as Link, you know? I hope they get a very underground, unknown actor and make him Link, kind of like what Harry Potter was. Obviously, the actors in Harry Potter started really young, so they didn't really have time to build, uh, a, you know, a reputation on other roles, but when you do look at, like, Harry Potter, that is, like, one of the greatest live action adaptations, uh, along with Lord of the Rings. I mean, Elijah Wood also really fit as, uh, you know, Frodo, and um, yeah, that, that would also be really cool. I wonder, actually, Elijah Wood could kind of work for Link, maybe not. I mean, I feel like he's too old now, but you get my point. Like, uh, I hope it's just someone new and it kind of follows that kind of route with how both Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings um, kind of introduced these actors and made them so well known for their role. Yeah, they end up being cursed for that role, but who wouldn't want to be Link? That would be so badass. And. Yeah, I am so excited for this. Again, really worried as well, because there's a lot of speculation. I mean, who's going to play Zelda, Ganondorf? Which era of Link is this going to be? Like, are we going to have Link in green? You know, is it going to be like the Ocarina of Time story? Is it going to be about Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? Like, so much is going through my mind right now. That's why I had to kind of open up the camera and just kind of talk about it with you guys, because I am so excited. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys think is well and uh, for me in general I'm just hoping that uh, you know with especially Disney uh, you know I hate to kind of throw Disney under the bus but let's be real with all their live adaptations they've been kind of dropping the ball with each and every single movie I prefer their you know old school animated classics to me those hold up even till today so getting a live action is worrying but again I hope they kind of go in a very um, safe route and just kind of don't, you know, Morbius it and make it just over the top or edgy. I feel like uh, a good, you know, video game live action adaptation movie was Sonic. And uh, even though I'm not a huge fan of the second one, I feel like the first one was all right, but the, you know, it, it didn't really hold up to the Sonic movie I wanted, but I still thought it was really good for what it was. Um, if they kind of go that route, I feel like it can be well, but again, you're not gonna have an animated Link. Like Sonic was still an animated character, so technically, even though it was live action, it was kind of mixed with uh, animation, and I feel like that that's why it felt really safe. Going full live action is going to be very interesting. Um, again, it, it, you know, with all these superhero movies, it's doable because, the, you know, they'll have the budget. Apparently, Nintendo is funding half of the movie itself, and I'm sure after the Mario movie, Nintendo is willing to put a lot of budget into these, you know, movies because they're definitely going to get it back. But 
still. Um, well, yeah, Marvel slash Disney has made, you know, superhero movies come to life and look really cool. I'm sure Zelda can do the same. We can see re-dead Skulltulas and all of that come to life with a realistic tone and style. So I'm not too worried about that. My biggest worry is, in particular, the actors, like how well they can deliver. And Nintendo has shown that they will go for the A-list celebrities. I mean, Chris Pratt played Mario, and there are already people making jokes that Nintendo would go for like that run-of-the-mill A-list, you know, actor who, you know, kind of takes all the roles. Well, now Tom Holland, let's be real, he would fit the Link look, and just overall he's kind of playing the young hero in all of the current movies, so it wouldn't surprise me if they went with him. Uh, I feel like so many people already made that joke, including myself, that, you know, we would see Tom Holland, and it's like, hopefully we're not right. Please prove us wrong and, and go a different route. Again, you know, like I said before, maybe the Harry Potter slash Lord of the Rings style. And I wonder which age Link is going to be uh, within this movie. Is he going to be a young adult, or are we going to go for a kid? If so, then, yeah, we don't have to worry too much about them being known for a specific role. They wouldn't have really had the chance so um yeah that would be interesting i personally would love a hero of time story where we can see link as a kid and maybe he pulls the master sword becomes an adult obviously i don't want the movie to be a literal retelling of one of the video games and i don't feel like they would you know zelda with each and every iteration in the video games um, have had just kind of retellings of its own story with the reimagining things and I feel like the movie just might go in that same vein it will be you know Link's upbringing and him most likely taking on Ganondorf we can only assume that and Nintendo has kind of dipped in with uh, voice acting in the Zelda series something fans never expected you know in Tears of the Kingdom we finally got a voice for Ganon and since Breath of the Wild we had a voice for Zelda so yeah will Link get a voice like I I wonder, I wouldn't mind if even it being live action for Link not to speak, um, I think that would be fine, but I have no clue, like, that would be so weird if Link does speak within the movie. Hopefully his lines are good, and again, it's played by an actor that can deliver these lines well, because... Yeah, I don't want anything corny or, you know, over-the-top edgy where it just comes out uh, and, and ruins Link's character, at least in the live movies, because that could happen as well. Uh, but it's insane to think about. I mean, Zelda is going to... Zelda's already mainstream, especially after Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, but it's going to go to a whole other level. Like, video games have become way more popular in today's day and age compared to what they were, you know, early on. But now, I mean, still, they never amount to the level of movie success movies are for everybody all around the world you know and video games you know you have to kind of be a gamer to really get into it anyone can watch a movie so yeah to me this is crazy to think about because Zelda is only gonna get bigger and hopefully the movie is good and if that is the case so many new Zelda fans who want if they want to explore more of the game's universe or the movie's universe they can play the game so yeah, that is always an option. It is insane. I mean, I, yeah, my mind is exploding. Like, uh, I'm so excited but so worried at the same time. But just so many thoughts are going through my head on what could happen, wh where they could go. And yeah, I definitely want to know your guys' opinions in the comments below. Please let me know. Like, what link would you like to see? What story would you like to see him tackle? Um... What actors would you want to see play the role? Uh, is there anyone in particular? Like, I feel like obviously with Link, it should be someone not so well known, but I don't think it'd be too crazy uh, if they had A-list celebrities play Zelda and Ganondorf and I guess Impa. You know, we can only expect Impa as well. Definitely the King of Hyrule. Um, again, it really matters on which era this is going to be. I feel like it's not going to be the beginning of the series with Skyward Sword. They're definitely just going to have a, you know, retelling of, like, how Ocarina of Time or, um, you know, The Wind Waker or something kind of, you know, has its own story. But I, I definitely feel like it's going to be 
heavily based in a forest-like area, and when I really think of that, you know, Link was a child from the forest in Ocarina of Time. He, you know, literally had a fairy. I wonder if he's gonna have a fairy. I feel like a fairy would fit. Will he have a companion? Will the companion speak for him? I feel like that would be a very safe way to do it. If you had Navi or some kind of fairy with Link, um, and, and, you know, she spoke for him instead of Link, that, and that way you can have the character not have a voice or, you know, give off uh, any lines and have someone else speak for him. I feel like they did that really well with Ocarina of Time, and even Hyrule Warriors kind of had that in a sense, uh, the original one, and um, it, it worked. But again, this is a movie. This is completely different. You're no longer playing a game. There's no longer, uh, you know things that you have to interpret yourself and, and do it yourself. This is literally, you're just gonna sit and watch it happen. And yeah, it's crazy. Honestly, I, I personally would have preferred for them to go the Mario route where they would have just had like, uh, you know, a animation studio help them with the movie. But since we're going live action, I mean, there's no way of going back. It's been confirmed. So, and I, for years now, again, so we're probably going to get a trailer eventually. I'm assuming maybe the Game Awards, they might show it. I'm already expecting that. If that's the case, definitely look forward to my reaction in, on the entire award ceremony. I'm, I mean, I'm already expecting that Tears of the Kingdom might win Game of the Year, so I'm definitely going to be watching that. It'd be a great place to announce the first uh, trailer for the movie or teaser and yeah, it's gonna be so weird seeing a live action from Nintendo That's something we've never seen. We've gotten like small commercials and stuff like that But we've never gotten a full piece of media that's gonna be all live action That's gonna be so weird coming from Nintendo, but again, I'm expecting big things uh, Their budget is probably gonna be insane um, so it's gonna, I bet you it's visually, it's gonna look perfect. Already even looking back at like the old Harry Potter movies and Lord of the Rings, they still hold up. Yeah, they had insane budgets, but imagine it was back then in the early 2000s. And now we're getting something in the 2020s. And if it follows that same dark yet serious tone that those movies went for, then it will be perfect. I'm really hoping it's in the vein of Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Again, I can't help but mention them because when I think of live adaptations even though those were based off of books um they still you know for me i never read the book so for me they were perfect it's all i need to know about the universe um but for someone who has played the games i guess my expectations will be a bit higher but still if it goes in that sort of direction i will be happy i hope they don't go in the direction of disney where yeah most of their live action movies suck and it's just no good so we'll see we'll see but um yeah this is just pretty much my kind of reaction type announcement video to this because i'm gonna be talking about this so much more we're gonna break down all you know trailers every announcement that they have for this like it's so cool that i'll be able to cover cover a movie within the legend of zelda series like you know, throughout my entire time on YouTube, I've only focused on video games. But now, no, we're jumping to a different style of medium. We're going to be doing movies. So this is going to be super exciting. I hope you're looking forward to it. Make sure you're subscribed to get uh, all the information as soon as they drop from me. Um, hopefully you guys are excited. Leave a like on the video. Again, let me know your thoughts, speculations, everything in the comments below. Let's start a discussion. I would love to know them in the comments. But yeah, anyways, that does it for this quick video. Thank you all again so much for watching. I've been ZM, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.